All right, man, so Luke, we back at it again with another crazy video. Now, before we get to the video, I need y'all to do me a big, big favor. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing, man? I need y'all to just sit back and relax, okay? Go down, stop, pause the video, first of all. Go down below in the link description box, okay? Click the link that say Instagram. I need y'all to follow your boy, okay? Follow your boy on Instagram. It's free. It, it is free. Follow your boy on Instagram. Without further ado, man, let's get into this crazy, crazy video. Do you like Joe Biden? What's your opinion? He's doing a pretty good job cleaning up the mess that um, Trump made. I mean... Do you like Joe Biden? He's doing a pretty good job cleaning up the mess that Trump made. Where? Uh, what? Girl, you sound delusional. That was a delusional statement. Do you like Joe Biden? What's your opinion? He's doing a pretty good job cleaning up the mess that um, Trump made. Uh <laughs> she was not. She was not. Be she was not be living in America. Yeah, I, I think she meant to say, you know, Trump was doing a pretty good. Uh, Trump was. He was doing a pretty good job. You feel me? I, I think she meant to say. It's cool. It's all good. I know. We sometimes, you know. We, we misconstrue our words. It's all good. I mean, he's okay. He's better than Trump. It was either him or Trump. I mean, I just didn't want to vote for Trump. That was my honest opinion. Do you like Joe Biden? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> I mean, like, he's better than Trump. Uh, I like him better than the alternative. Same for you? Yeah, same for me. As far as it, I'll... It is, bro, it is disturbing to me how these Americans are voting for somebody because of the characteristics. They Okay, they're voting, they didn't vote for Trump because Trump was a straight up for guy. He was a real person, okay? He was straight up, you know what I'm saying? He kept it a buck. The things that he said, it may came out, you know, people misconstrue his words and did this and they called him racist and do all that. But they don't want to vote for Trump. But They don't care about what he did for the country. They don't care about how he was trying to make the country better. They don't care about all the good things that Trump done did to make this country actually better than what it was. They don't care about that. What they care about is not putting him in office because they don't like a straight off they don't like a straightforward guy. They literally didn't vote for Trump because of him. They it wasn't because of what he did for the country. They did it's not like he did any like crazy thing bad. And I see if he was doing some terrible things for the country. He never made America great again. He he never did nothing for this. Guy. I will see that. Then that's the reason to say I don't want to vote for this man. But y'all not voting for him because y'all don't like him. Because y'all don't like him. It was between Trump or Biden. And then you pick, oh Lord, I swear. I swear, bro. I was concerned I had to get the previous president out of there. Depends. Depends on who's running against him. I mean, we know who's running against him, right? Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> what are some of the things he's accomplished that you like so far? Right now, off the top of my head, I can't think of any. Can I Literally, her shirt spillings it all. I hate everybody. She she don't even know, she don't even know what, what life is. Take like uh, one guess. Okay. He's not Trump. Did I get it right? Yeah, see you there, see you there. He's not Trump. So what, what do you like that he's done? Um, well, I think he has a big opportunity this week to kind of show his true colors with all, like, the gun reform. So if he's able to push that through, I think that'll be a big advantage. Just off the top of my head, more sarcastically, I think just making sure Trump is in office is a big accomplishment. What do you like about him so far? What's he done that, you know, you've, you thought was good? Um, to be honest, I haven't really picked up a lot that he's done oh. lately. I'm <laughs> not really sure. Yeah, I don't really like follow like politics. I don't really, I haven't been really paying attention to that. So that's why. That, that explains a lot. That explains a lot. In the beginning, did you just say something about he was doing a great job, this and that? You don't even follow politics. You don't even know what Trump, you, you don't even know what Trump did. You don't even know what Biden's doing. This is, oh Lord, I swear, bro. I swear. I mean, you people are delusional. You, you, you people are delusional. I didn't know liberals was this, was this stupid until now. I mean, I, I kind of knew they was like kind of on the <laughs> the kind of got to catch up type of side. You know what I'm saying? They kind of, you feel me? But, dog, I mean, you don't even know who you was voting for. You not into politics. Then, but you just you just chose Biden because of what everybody else, what the media was putting out there about Trump. That's y'all people problem. Y'all go off what y'all hear. Y'all never want to do y'all own research. I ain't going to lie. I was hearing stuff about Trump. I heard he was a racist. I heard he was this. I heard it was that. But until I got into politics and started doing my own research on Trump and started doing my research on Biden, then I realized that Trump wasn't as bad as people made him sound. It's the media. It's the woke media that made Trump sound like he was just this racist person. This pedophile. They made him sound like he was just such a terrible person. But when it comes to Biden... <laughs> 
I mean, they make it sound like this man is on top of the world. He top flight security. But come man. Is it because you don't follow politics or does he just not have any accomplishments? Like, which one is it? Oh, no, because I don't really follow much after, like, Barack Obama. I didn't really, I'm not really paying attention. I'm just, like, appreciate that, like, Trump is gone. I don't know much about what's going on. After Barack Obama? Oh, Lord, that's a whole nother conversation. That's a whole nother conversation. I, I don't, even, you know I don't think I can name something. Can you not name something because he has none or just because? No, just because I don't know what's going on. What are you looking for him to do to earn your vote in 2024? Ooh, that's a deep question for me right now. I mean, obviously, women's rights is a huge thing for me. Yeah, just caring about the environment. Those top two. So what has he done to further those two things? I'm way out of, like, the news right now that you know I can't really say too much there was like a lot going on with Trump that it was like kind of concerning we thought that he was gonna take us into war take us into war so I I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I need to go outside and start doing public interviews. I need to interview some people in Chicago and see what they was thinking when they. I want to know who they voted for because boy, where is this at? These people don't even know nothing about politics. Point point blank period. They don't know nothing. They just going along with what the media was putting out there. I mean, she said after Obama, she stopped caring. But you went ahead and voted for somebody that ain't gonna do nothing for the country. <sighs> Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm doing too much or something. I don't know. I, I truly don't know. Y'all need to not vote for nobody because of the because of who they are. Look at look at what's around us. Look at where you're living. Y'all should be voting for a person because of the impact that they have on the country, what they're doing different, what they're making better. You know what I'm saying? That's what y'all should be voting for. Not not trying to get Trump out of office because y'all didn't like him as a person. Y'all don't like Trump as a person, so oh, I don't, I'm just glad Trump not in office. But you don't even know what this man done did. You don't even know all the good things this man done did. Seriously. And you say you felt like Trump was going to take us into... You felt like Trump was going to take us into war? You felt like Trump? But didn't Biden just... Oh, my. Didn't Biden, man. Mm. This is making my head itch. This is making my head itch, boy. I tell you, by the time I'm 30, I, I promise you, I'm a, by the time I'm 30, and if I'm still making videos, which I don't know, I probably will, probably not, I don't know, but by the time I'm 30, man, I, I promise I'll have a glass of wine right here, because, boy, I'm going to need it. I'm going to need it every time I watch something stupid like this. This is truly ridiculous. Truly ridiculous, bro. I feel like people voted for him because they needed a way out. It's kind of like, this person seems like they know what they're doing a little bit more. They can fix things, so yeah. So it's like, not Trump 2024. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Depending on the candidates, whatever, you know, it looks like. Who do you think the candidates are going to be? Oh, I don't know, actually. I have to look into that. It's probably going to be Trump. Yeah, no, definitely not him. Are you going to still vote for him because he's not Trump in 2024? If it's a lesser two evils, once again, it's going to have to be him, unfortunately. You vote for evil, though? I can't just not vote, though. Because the, the way I see it is, like, if I don't vote, then I'm part of the problem. Silence is violence, right? Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like a lesser of two evils thing then, right? Yeah, yeah I'd say so. But then you're voting for evil, though, you know? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. They don't care about America, bro. They they don't care. They they truly don't care. They looking at, man, I guess, I guess as a president, it don't matter what you do for the country. It don't matter what type of impact you have. It don't matter what good things you try to do. It don't matter. All people care about, they, they want a nice friend. They want somebody that, that will baby them. They don't want nobody straightforward. They don't want nobody that's all about their business. They want somebody that's going to baby them. Oh, we're going to do this, and we're going to do that, and we're going to cancel this, and we're going to do this. And we, they want somebody baby, bro. That's what it seems like because they care so much about the person instead about what they're doing, bro. Instead about what they're doing. Yes, the person characteristics matter, but if you truly looked into everything that Trump done said... If you truly looked into everything that this man done did, point blank period, said, did, whatever. If you looked into it, bro, you would realize that he is not as bad as the media was putting him out there to be. I promise you. I promise you he wasn't. I thought he was a racist too. I thought he didn't like black people too. I definitely did. 
I thought he was a point. I thought he was the racist man ever. Cause that's what the media was saying. That's what my peers was saying. Stop listening to what people feed into y'all ears. And y'all gotta do the research y'all self. Y'all can't depend on man to give y'all the answers to something. You really gotta do your own research, bro. Cause everybody be lying, bro. You never know what's the truth. You don't know what's the truth. You gotta truly do your own research and say, okay, this is it. This is what I needed right here. <laughs> it's too much for my brain. <laughs> I'd like to ask, are you gonna vote for him again in 2024? Um, I'd have to look at the different candidates, but like, if he's the only one, then I don't know. I guess I'd I feel like I'd have to. You're gonna vote for a disgusting guy, though. <laughs> I mean, I have to. I don't know. Like, no, then no, because it's just not worth it. Oh, bro, I, <laughs> dog. I mean, this video is just like low key. It, it's just stupid, bro. It's seriously stupid. I feel like, like I said, I mean, vote for who you vote for. But at the end of the day, if you if you truly care about America and you truly care about making America better than what it is, I will say definitely vote for a person who's on that same path. Don't just vote for nobody because you want somebody else out of office because you don't like nobody else. Actually, look into all the candidates, look into everybody, look into what they're saying, look at it all, look into all that, bro. And truly choose who will be better, who will be a, be a better fit for America in, t in general. Who will be a better president? Y'all just voting just to vote. Y'all just vote, 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 vote. Oh, it's not Trump, so I'm going to vote. Oh, not Trump. Okay, vote. Not Trump. Oh, vote, vote. I'm like, bro, stop. Stop. Stop listening to what people is feeding to y'all. Stop listening to the media. Stop listening to what the media is trying to tell y'all, bro. They're trying to brainwash y'all. Y'all, They're trying to put people out there. So, uh, as a person that they're really not, I'm telling you, bro, <laughs> y'all gotta pay attention, man. Come on, bro. Anyways, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on IG, man. For real. Follow your boy on IG. All right. But anyways, I'm off this video, man. Y'all let me know. Uh, I was gonna say y'all let me know who y'all vote for, but I already know half of y'all. Y'all on the same time as me. Vote for Trump. You feel me? But anyways, I love y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.